This is Austin over here at Company Cam, and today I wanted to show off some of the new updates that are going to be coming to our integration with QuickBooks. Um, so with the QuickBooks integration, how it was before, um, basically you would be able to create a new customer, um, or if you created a new invoice or a new estimate for a customer that was already added before you integrated, that would create a matching Company Cam project. Um, which is still the case, that's still how project uh, generation works, um, but previously you just had a link out um, at the customer level um, to kind of see that project uh, that, you know, so all the photos, the reports, documents, anything like that um, would just be over in company cam. Now you have the option to actually pull photos from company cam directly back over into QuickBooks. So um, we're just going to go over that a little bit. We're just going to kind of go over the entire integration um, as a whole here. And so we'll start with actually just getting it connected. Um, and then we'll get some projects created and um, sync some photos back to QuickBooks and just show you guys how that works. So um, basically to start, we would want to start inside of Company Cam. So we can go into our Company Cam um, page here, get signed in, all that good stuff. Under Resources and Integrations, you can go ahead and click on the Integrations tab. And then from here, we're just going to look for QuickBooks Online. And so we can see here, there is an option to connect. We'll go ahead and select that. From here, it's just saying it wants to connect our data to our QuickBooks account. If you aren't already logged in, this is where it may ask you to log in, but otherwise it's just gonna go ahead and get um, signed in and connected here. You do as a user or as an admin, you have the option to lock estimates or invoices from QuickBooks. So what this would mean is that estimates and invoices will only be accessible to admins and managers. So um, if you have estimates or invoices that you don't necessarily want um, every single company cam user to see, um, by locking those to only man managers and admins, you have the option to do so just with this toggle here. So we'll go ahead and save that. I think most folks are gonna keep that that way. And we'll keep that saved there. Now we should be completely integrated and we can um, go ahead and start um, actually getting some projects synced over from QuickBooks. So again, how that integration works is any new customers that are added into um, QuickBooks, those are going to create a company cam project shell here. Um, if you create an invoice or an estimate for a customer that's already in here, so maybe you had QuickBooks before you integrated with Company Cam, when you create that new invoice or estimate, that will also generate a Company Cam project, as well as any new estimates or invoices for a, a new customer. Those are gonna come over and sync as a new project as well. And so um, I'll show you guys how that works a little bit. We'll just go ahead and add a new customer first. So we're just putting in that address information just to generate our project. And all that looks good. We'll go ahead and hit save here. Because we're integrated and everything, we're going to see a matching company cam project get generated. That's just going to have that matching um, address and name that we included over here. So we can see. It's also super easy to tell <clears throat> that that project came from QuickBooks because it has our label showing us QuickBooks online customer. And so again, that project was just automatically generated through the integration here. And so now with this integration, if we had any, um, let's say we need to add a new estimate um, for this uh, customer. Let's go ahead and do that. So we will go under our customers, we'll add a new estimate. For our customer, we're just gonna go ahead and choose that same one that we did. So again, that's our matching uh, customer that's also in company cam. Go ahead and hit save here. And now that that estimate's been saved, we're going to see that come back over to our company cam project as a document. And then that document went ahead and synced over. So keep in mind, you will need to make sure that a amount is added for your estimate in order for it to come over. That's also going to be for invoices as well. But you can see this project um, now has that estimate that automatically synced over. It will show you QBO estimate showing you that it came um, from QuickBooks and that it is an estimate. Um, as well as it does have that lock for um, those that aren't uh, having you know the manager and admin access there. 
Um, let's go ahead. So that's how estimates work there. So again, we added that after we created that customer. Um, we can do the same thing for invoices. So let's go ahead and create an invoice for that same customer. And then the same thing here. We're just going to fill out that necessary information in order for it to generate a um, invoice for us here. Provide a service date, test, rate, amount. All that looks good. And so now our invoice has been saved as well. And so very similarly to the estimate, we should see in that documents tab. And then here is that invoice. Just took a second to come over. But again, it's going to have QBO invoice showing you that it came from QuickBooks. You have access to all that information there. With the estimate, it's very, very similar. From here, this is really handy as well. So let's say, um, let's say we need somebody to sign off on this invoice that we had created um, with the company cam built-in signature feature. From here, you could basically just send that off and request a signature just right on um, that is that estimate or that invoice that you're working on. So um, basically, from there, it's just going to connect you to um, your workflow for signatures. You would just put in the name of the person as well as the email address that you're trying to send it to. And then you'll hit next and just send that invoice off that way. So um, really, really nice full workflow there. Um, you, you know, initially creating that customer inside of QuickBooks, adding an invoice, adding an estimate, um, and then working through them that way um, within company cam. So um, that's, that's kind of how the integration has worked um, as of late. The new updates that we'll be talking about next are going to be the actual photo syncing portion of that. So um, what we can do is we can go back to our photos and actually get some photos added in here. And I'll kind of show you um, how that, that photo syncing process is going to work. So we're just going to pull some images from our device here. You know, again, this could also be somebody capturing photos out in the field on the app, um, you know, uploading photos from their device in the app as well. Um, just whatever you need to do to, you know, get those photos initially added into that project. Um, from here, now that we have our photos um, actually added, we can just go ahead and select them. So we can either select them individually or we can select them with our date um, toggle here and that's going to pull up our actions bar and from here we're going to see this new option it's going to say under integration send photos to QuickBooks online so um, previously you did not have the option to be able to sync photos from company cam back to QuickBooks um, basically what you would see on the customer is just this uh, link out and so if I copy and pasted that bar or still you know if I copy and paste that bar in my URL and paste it it's going to take me to that project that we're talking about. So it's easy to access all of that company cam content. But now if I want to actually send some of these images that I'm taking, I just go ahead and select these, hit send photos to QuickBooks Online, and then select the invoice, estimate, or customer record you want to send these photos to. So we'll go ahead and just send them to the customer record. But you can see how um, it would be advantageous to be able to send them to like a particular estimate or a particular invoice that you might be working on. Um, if you're building out that estimate, you know, inside of uh, QuickBooks and you want to actually have photos to be able to show uh, what you're referring to when you send that out, uh, it's a really easy way to do that. So we'll just go ahead and start by adding it to our customer record. So we'll hit send there. And then it says request sent. That's telling you that it did complete that process of sending those over. Okay, perfect. And then under attachments is where we will see these photos. So after you go ahead and select actions, after you hit send to QuickBooks online, you will see those photos under the customer details page. If you go down to down to attachments, you'll be able to see those images, those same ones that we had just taken in our company cam project. So again, that's how to send them to the customer record. It's going to be under customers and customer details for that particular customer that you're referring to. If we do need to send these photos to a particular estimate, we can definitely do that as well. So we can hit this estimate that we just worked on and send that there. Again, we'll see request sent showing us that those photos have been sent. And now we can look at our um, that pending invoice, that matching 1010 one that we just worked on. And then we can see those attachments have now been added to that estimate.
Finally, we'll do the same thing with invoices. It's gonna work very, very similar to how it just did with the estimate, but we'll go ahead and send these photos to the invoice numbered uh, 1030. Go ahead and hit send. Again, request sent, letting us know that that's completed. If we back out of here and go to our customers, and go to invoices, there it is. Cool, so again, we sent those photos from that company cam project to this specific invoice. If we scroll down here a little bit and go under our attachments, we will then see them um, all available there. And so we can add them to the email as needed. Um, this is hidden from the customer, but you do have that company cam project link out again. If that takes us, if we, if we put that in our um, URL, that'll just take us back to that project, the matching one that we're working out of um, inside of company cam. So, um, that is really kind of an overview of how the integration works. So again, that initial project creation, that's going to be done from um, a new customer or, or a new invoice or estimate added for a customer not yet added into company cam. Um, if you do want to have an older customer sync to um, company cam, then you would just create a new estimate or invoice for that person. Um, and now through the ability to sync photos, basically just select those photos under your actions. You'll just hit send uh, photos to QuickBooks Online, and then it'll find the it'll have you select which entry from that matching record that you want to send those photos to. So um, that's a little bit of how the integration works. Um, if you do have any other questions about this, please reach out to our support team. That's support at companycam.com, and we appreciate you guys taking a look.